Howdy, howdy, everybody out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to the channel. So we've been practicing our juggling. We're getting a little bit better, I would say. A little bit. Let's see if we can do it with our left hand. Not bad, not bad. It wasn't on camera, so does it count? I don't know. We can, we can at least throw two in the air, but we dropped one of them. That's fine, though. We're just practicing. So juggling is going pretty good. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because... In a couple of recent videos, we talked about juggling, and then we talked about our cups and balls routine, right? I performed it. I did it. I performed it live in front of, like, 10, 15 people, most of them kids, but, wow, it was exciting. It was fun. It worked uh, pretty well, I think. There was, there was positive feedback. I heard laughing from both the kids and the adults, so I feel like my patter was... Uh, was good. I'm more of an impromptu type of performer, so I basically practiced it here in the studio, practiced, practiced, practiced until I kind of knew what the sequence was going to be, but I didn't really plan a whole lot of pattern. Then I just went out and performed, and I did a couple of things that I weren't, wasn't expecting. I didn't think that I, that's what I was going to do, but I did it, and it worked. So basically, I was using... Uh, unicorn cups, as you saw in that video, I don't have any of those in here because I got rid of them. Uh, basically, <laughs> there was a point. So imagine, uh, imagine I've got some, you know, cups and balls here, and then uh, I've got a cup. You can't really see the table very well down here. Let's see if we can tilt you down real quick. So you're down here on the table, okay? We've got our ball here down on the table, right? Now, of course, you've got multiple cups. Multiple cups. Now, I had uh, I had these plastic mystery eggs that I was using for the eggs. Great. And I had forgotten that, you know, some of the cups had eggs underneath them, which was fine. But what I did end up doing is I asked, instead of asking uh, which cup has an egg underneath it, I asked, what cup do you want, right? And without thinking about it, they're like, the middle one. So I picked up the cup and I threw it. <laughs> yeah, I threw the cup into the audience. Um, it wasn't planned. It was just kind of a... Just one of those moments that you just you just roll with it. Which cup do you want? The middle one. Okay, here you go. And I threw it to him uh, because I was getting towards the end of the the cups part of the routine because I went from the cups and then I introduced the the top hat was the top hat was already introduced because I was wearing it when I came out and then I used the top hat for the second third you know the ending of the the routine just like I did in the video. So once I was done with the cups, I never really anticipated throwing them out. I thought they would just be sitting around the table, but I just got rid of them. And I was like, that worked. That was great. It would be it would be better. And in the future, there's a couple of things that I'm thinking about here. Um, what I might do in the future is instead of doing the squishy unicorns, like that, what I might do is I might look into getting a bag of rainbow sponge balls or something of that nature because then I could really do that. The idea that I was planning on doing in rainbow would work depending on the theme. If, I, if I'm doing a birthday party, I'll actually theme it to whatever the birthday party is that for, for whatever the birthday is. I'll just buy all the stuff for that. And the good news is, is that like all those themes... I had those plastic cups. They were like a dollar a piece for unicorns. What I'll do in the future, though, is I'll buy three different cups from then the ones that I used for the party because that's all I did was I bought a pack of unicorn cups, and that's what we use for like the party favors and things like that for the party. I just took three of them out of the pack, and that's what I used, which was fine. But we were already giving out those cups, so then you're already getting you're getting an extra of the same cup to take home. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll get three different cups that are still within the same theme, maybe a little different colorway, something like that. That way when I hand them out, there'll be a little bit more, it'll be a special cup from the production that you can actually say, hey, this cup was used for the magic 
and you can see that it's different from the other cups that were given out at the party. That's what I'll change up differently for that. Might do the rainbow, and then the eggs worked out pretty well. I actually forgot, speaking of the juggling, there was going to be a segment where I produced three eggs at once. So I was going to do, I had six eggs, so I was going to do three eggs that were just like disappear, reappear, disappear, reappear. <clears throat> it's jumping around back and forth and then hand those out. And then I was like, okay, well, how about we speed this up a little bit and boom, 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 make three of them appear at once under all the cups. So even after I just did the three singles in each of the cups, then I make three appear at once. And then I was going to just start juggling them up into the air. And then I would just go as far as I could, and then as soon as I started dropping them or whatever, I would just throw them out to the audience. Anything like that would have been fine. And what happened was fine just as well. I just kind of cycled through the eggs. I had three pink and three purple, and I just played around with it as I was going. And like I said, I forgot that one of the I forgot there was an egg under one of the cups. So when I lifted it up, I was like, oh, you know, forgot that was there. You know, I. It was already planted there, so my first reveal was great because there was there was like very little way that you would know that it was there unless you caught it right from the beginning. So boom, first load was already done, and that one hit pretty well. And then I had this other one where I just lifted up the cup, and I was like, huh, how'd that get there? And I ended up dropping it on the floor. So I was like, well, where is it at? I would ask the spectators questions like, this one's magical, but this one's not. And then I would switch them and be like, well, which one's which? I don't know. And just play around with it. And it was successful, at least in my mind. And as far as the kids were concerned, like I said, I heard a lot of laughter. I heard a lot of, ha, ha, ho, 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 that was great. I even heard the people, the kids saying, I knew how you did everything. And I'm like, great. Did you have a good time? You know, like that was, it's cups and balls. It's not, it's, it's about like, if everybody's laughing and having a good time, then you know you're doing it right. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, got that little bit of cough I just can't get rid of. But I'm here to get you guys some videos, and this one was great. Like I said, this was more of a talking one because I just wanted to share with you that I performed. I performed in front of a group of people, and it was amazing. Was it for money? No, it was for my daughter's birthday party. But she wanted it. She did something that we do together in a way that she'll come into the office and we'll kind of mess around with some of the toys and play around and and it's fun it's something that we do together so i figured you want a magic show here you go cups and balls um i had cards i had coins did i bring the coins i don't think i brought the coins but i had cards because my brother was there obviously and maybe not obviously i don't know why i said that but david was there and uh you, you if you're familiar with the channel you know david's the guy he, he has a bunch of cards. He's collecting cards, and I use them. I have a bunch of cards here. I'm trying to rearrange my card palette here because I had a whole row of this shelf over here that just wasn't really uh, wasn't vibing. It was just uh, um, the cards were not. they Like I had the like classics and aviators and things that I might want to not be on display but still want to have close to hand if I just want to mess around. But I don't use them. I don't. They just sit over there and don't do anything. So there's a lot of cards that are great for display, and then I have a pile of cards that I use constantly. So I'm like, well, do I really want my bikes up here? Do I really want my B cards up here? Do I want the tally hoes up here? Unless they're a special kind of tally ho, I'm just not even gonna put them up there because they're not. They're, they're being used. They're being utilized. So I'm trying to rearrange that. Anywho, uh, st just check out that poll that I've got going on on the channel right now because I'm trying to get out these questions to you guys, the handful of people who are watching my channel. Uh, basically, if you see the stuff and you want to answer the questions, I will do videos that are more in line with the kind of stuff that you want to see. So far, I did have a person vote that they want to see more of the long-form content. So here we are. We're talking about magic. We're either doing reviews, which I have some card reviews that I still need to get to, which is great. It's good to have... Could have videos I can still work on, and then I do magic theory videos, which I break down and talk about different magical props, and I talk about what you can do with them, and just give you some ideas on what kind of magic you can you can go with there. So, and of course we've started a segment on juggling. Yeah, we've done we've done the juggling. We've done a one minute video, which I'm probably going to try to update probably today. Uh, basically, a one minute video on 
juggling. So juggling in one minute, you know, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for just more stuff, more stuff. I've got a nice SpongeBob routine that I'm working on. It's really, it's really hard for me to do it on the channel though, because I would prefer to perform it live and then record it. That way we have a, uh, it just looks better on the presence of the performance to record you actually performing it in front of a spectator. Because if I do it in front of the camera, then it's just like, well, I don't know, there's that, you know, it's just, it doesn't, just doesn't carry the same weight. Like I can prop, I can pull off sponge sorcery pretty decent on camera, but it would hit better with a spectator. But the other SpongeBob routine that I'm trying to learn is more of a definite, like, spectator necessary because you want that moment of, like, wait, what, what happened, you know? That's that's it. That's all I got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me ramble. I hope you stick stuck around for the whole video. We're just talking. We're we're trying to trying to create a connection here. So if you feel like if you feel like we connected, then just go ahead and subscribe. We got over five thousand people already subscribed. That's that's crazy. I got five thousand people on the channel. It's amazing. We're heading to 10,000 and beyond. <laughs> like, subscribe, watch more videos. Just watch more videos. Go check out the Magic Guys. Go check out Doug Khan, Josh Norbito, Jason Marr. He's cruising right now. I think he's working on a cruiser ship. <laughs> That's just fun stuff. Go check out the Magic Guys. Go check him out. You got Card Mechanic. Mini is amazing. He's constantly putting up new things. He's doing cardistry. He's doing Learn With Me. Uh, he'll do a... Um, a magic competition so you can basically upload videos to his channel once a month i think it is uh he's doing it once a month you can upload the videos that way you can get featured featuring you that's what it's called forgot for a second there uh magic orthodoxy doing great great stuff over there obviously doing all these reviews but he's also doing magic on the side so you can check out his other channel uh, it's David over at Magic Orthodoxy. Uh, Robert Ball Magic. Go check out Robert Ball Magic, right? He is doing some great stuff. Lots of other people, too, and I'll list them off. I'll list them all off because we got amazing people on the platform, and you guys should be watching them. That's it. That's it. I don't know why I'm still here. I probably should just be done, but I don't know. I'm just... <sighs> okay, that's good. So here we go. Here we go. Thank you, guys, and remember... Always remember, stay positive, stay active, and stay awesome. And we'll see you in the next one.